Hey guys, so today I want to do a basic video here because I made a video like this last year and got a lot of views. So obviously people are interested in how you do it. I'm not saying that it's you that's watching this video that's interested in how you do this, but there's a lot of people interested in, in probably how to close apps on the Galaxy S5 uh, because it's probably a little bit located at a different place than on the Galaxy S4. So let's just open up a few apps here. So I have the calculator open up. Uh, let's open up the camera and uh, let's just find some other apps, maybe open up settings as well. So I've now opened up three different apps. So to get to the place where you see all your opened apps and active applications, you tap on the left capacity touch button here. So you just simple tap there and you can see a, basically a thumbnail of what is going on and what kind of apps that is open up. So you can see I have four apps open up here and you can scroll up and down to see them all and a thumbnail there. Uh, and now if you wanna close uh, them all at the same time, you just tap on this little button down here and it will close all the apps. Uh, let's say you just wanna close one app, you can either swipe it to the left or the right side. So swiping that one to the left side, let's say you wanna swipe this one to the right side, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and uh, that's just how you do it, it's very, very simple. And then if you wanna close down all apps, just close it down like that. And you will see now when I go back, no recent apps, no uh, active applications over here. Uh, also, if you tap on this little button down here, you can see um, active applications. Now, this is a place where it's a little bit different. It, usually you don't see uh, active applications, um, like big apps that you open up on your phone, but you can see some random apps sometimes here probably. Um, like um, it's, it's almost like a computer when, where you have a different like uh, processes that's going on. If you click on Control to delete on like a Windows PC, uh, I don't really think you need to uh, do that much in here, but then of course you can just tap end all sometimes. It's also a good way to see if you see anything weird that seems to be going on. You can probably Google the, the active application that's being run in the background. This one looks pretty safe. I mean, it's just like Android or something with Android here. And you can also see the RAM status in here. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a quick little view there how to close down apps on the brand new Galaxy S5. Not really that hard, not really that complicated, but I know that there's a lot of people interested in how you do that uh, because that was that was what I saw with the Galaxy S4 when I did a video uh, about the same topic and it always feels good to help people out. So if you want to, sh uh, want to know anything specific about the Galaxy S5, definitely let me know about that and I'll definitely see if I can do a video about it. So I also have a, a, a bunch of other videos about phones and such that you might want to check out because I'm probably going to cover a lot of things. With this device, there's a lot of things, a lot of complicated things, perhaps if you're not that into smartphones or you know what you can do with them. They're getting pretty powerful now, this year 2014. So yeah, quick video. Peace out.